work to help stop the greasy. This is Gene Woods speaking for Family Feud. I'm Mark Goodson, Bill Tudman Production. It's time for the Family Feud, introducing the Bex family. Audrey, Norman, Wendy, Don, and Steve, ready for action. And the Goldman family. Judy, Jim, Ron, Lil, and Hi. On your marks, let's start the Family Feud. With the star of Family Feud, Richard Dawson. The doctor walked in and saw the Shah today down in Panama. He said, I've got good news and bad news. The Shah said, give me the good news first. He said, the good news is you're completely cured. He said, what's the bad news? He said, you're going home tomorrow. <laughs> she actually called the Bex family. Hi, Richard. You're not going home tomorrow, are you? Oh, no. Not going home until February. Oh, that's good. Yes. <laughs> Next February, that you a very good. Yes. Time. You've got $17,707. Oh, there is this. Fantastic. Oh, it is. Audrey's a visitor from England, so she's quite excited. Let's meet the rest of your family here. This is Norman, our cousin from Blackpool, <laughs> and my dear sister Wendy. Okay. Hi, Richard. And Wendy's husband, Don, Hi, Richard. and my nephew, Steve. Nice to see you, Hello. Steve. Norman, everything okay? Yes, I think I'm all right now, thank you. <laughs> more, or <less. laughs> more or less, he's okay. We had a question on our last show. If you have a lid stuck on a jar, what do you do to uh, open it? He has a great idea, and I think a lot of us should try this. He said, use your hands. <laughs> <laughs> family go to the challenge, you're called the Goldman Family! Yay! <laughs> Yeah, you'll give us a lot of household uh, hints as we go along. <laughs> Who have you got here, darling? Richard, I have my husband, Jim, nice my brother, Ron, my mother, hi. Lil, and my father, Hi. Hi. Hi, hi. Hi, Rich. Nice <laughs> well, you did that very quickly. Thank you. You're not nervous at all. Oh, no. <laughs> You're not, are you? No. No. You're going to have a baby, aren't you? Yes. When? July. July. First baby? No, my third. <laughs> really? You know what causes it? Well, anyway, come on. Let's <laughs> play with you. Let's go. Come on. One hundred people surveyed. Top five answers on the board. You got to try and find the most popular answer. Here's the question: Name a chore kids hate to do. Clean the rooms. Clean the room. Hey, oh, Number one answer. What are you going to do? I'm going to play, my daughter. Very good. You've got the hang of this. That's a good. chore, I'll tell you, a chore that kids hate to do. Wash. They hate to wash. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 Wash. Yeah. Order live. That's a strike. Yeah. Three of those, they get a chance to steal. What do you think a chore kids hate to do, uh, Linda? Take the garbage out. Ah. Take the garbage out. Also, bring it back in again. They hate yeah. that. Garbage? Oh. Don, all is well? Thank you, sir. What do you think chore kids uh, hate to do? From personal experience, they hate to do the dishes. Okay. Yay. Any of our 100 people say dishes? They did. $82 there. Steven, wow. what do you think? Well, I'll say do the gardening. Gardening? Mowing lawn. Yeah. Gardening! Yeah. There we go. Yeah. One answer left. Yes, one answer. And I will say Richard. You'll say Richard. No. <laughs> Richard! <laughs> no, I will, I will say that children hate to do their mother's shopping. Okay. That's fine. Yeah. Yeah. Although I shop for my mom. 
Do you? I did, I did. Oh, you did? Well, yeah. you were a good son. Oh, no, I mean, I bought her. I shopped for her. She was marked down. <laughs> Shopping's there. You got it all. If not, second strike. Shopping! <laughs> Come on. Well, I would say put the clothes away. Put their yeah, clothes yeah. away. Put their clothes away. If it's there, normally you got it all. If not, Goldman's got a chance to steal. Put away their clothes. <laughs> not that. What do you think, champs? $86 waiting for you if Take you give bath. me the right Take answer. Take a bath. Take a bath. Take a bath. Take a bath. Little bathing time's there. You get $86. If not, Audrey and the family get it. Bathe! <laughs> you got it. <laughs> Number four. Make the beds. Did you ever make beds, Jennifer, when you were small? Yeah? I built them and everything. Hammer, nail, iron screen, yeah. We'll be back right after this. At Dots, an ordinary pretzel just isn't enough. So they add savory seasoning and tempting buttery flavor into every delicious twist. Now that's enough to make you order a special delivery. That seems like a lot. They're really good. Dots, sensationally seasoned pretzels. Don't freak out, but you can get 50% off all menu price Domino's pizzas when you order online right now. Right now? Yep, 50% off your favorite pizza <laughs> right now. Right now, Ted! Right now? Any pizza, 50% off right now. Right now? Yep, any Domino's oh. pizza. Right now? Yeah, you got it. 50% off, honey! Right now! That's right. <laughs> Now through the end of the week, get 50% off all mini price pizzas when you order online at Domino's. i do anything. My baby's got a sensitive stomach. My baby needs something for her skin. My baby, too. Have you tried Hill's Science Diet, Sensitive Stomach and Skin? It's gentle on dogs' tummies and helps nourish their skin and coats. Hill Science Diet is one of the many anythings PetSmart has for your dog's unique needs. Anything else? Where's the grooming? Fancy treats. Do you have any, like, top hats or little monocles or anything? Anything for you. PetSmart. Anything for pets. It's nothing. Sounds like something. When you have nausea, heartburn, indigestion, unsystemic diarrhea. Pepto-Bismol coats and soothes for fast relief when you need it most. At Olive Garden, our cheese will make you melt and leave you bubbling with joy. Best part is, it keeps coming till you say when. Olive Garden, we're all family here. Ever wonder why Kit Kats are so delightfully crispy? There's your answer. One, two, three. Tasty wafers covered in creamy milk chocolate. Isn't it nice wafers are having their moment? Have a break, have a Kit Kat. Add mint to the moment with Mint Duos. How many English people have still got the lead here? Ain't hey, hey, hey. Nothing here. Come on, Jim. <laughs> Jim and Norman, what a perfect situation comedy. <laughs> <laughs> you like that one, right? Yeah, I think it's good. <laughs> 100 people surveyed. Top five answers on the board. Here's the question Name someone with Thomas in his or her name. Thomas Jefferson. Thomas Jefferson. <laughs> One answer, Norman will beat it. Someone with Thomas in his or her name. Living to dead, you mean? Or? I don't mind. Well, I would say uh, Thomas a Beckett. That's going back a bit. Yeah, <laughs> Thomas a Beckett. Good answer. Beckett? <laughs> no, not there. What do you want to do? Play, 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 play. 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 We're going to play, Richard. Okay, they're going to play. Okay. Good answer, though. Hi, Ron, Richard. Nice to see you. Someone with Thomas in his or her name? Danny Thomas. Aha. Uh -huh. Good answer. Good. Danny Thomas. Yeah. Yeah. Number one. Very good. Hello. How are you doing? Hi. Good. We're very happy to have you here. Someone with Thomas in his or her name? Thomas Edison. Uh -huh. All right. Hey. Thomas Edison. All right. Very good. Excellent. Aren't you proud of her? Hey, Richard. Aren't you proud of her? That was sure a I am. Have you got one? Uh, how about Thomas Aquinas? Okay. The big A, Aquinas? Yeah, good answer. Not thou. First strike, is it? Dolly? How about Terry Thomas? Terry right. Thomas. Good answer. 
Good answer. English actor, a little, little gap between his teeth. Taking a look for Uncle Terry. Oh. What an extraordinary loud noise. Second strike. Hello. Hello. Someone Thomas and his old friend oh, yeah. name. How about Marlo Thomas? All right. Yeah. Yeah. Marlo, say you're okay, if not third strike. Marlo! Very good. Come on, Marlo. Come on, Thomas Dewey. My favorite. Good answer. Yes. Mr. Dewey's up there. You've got it all. If not, they get a chance to steal. Dewey? <laughs> not there. What do you say, Chump? Look at this group. Oi! Get up here! Here we go. What do you think? Richard, yeah. we say Thomas Jones or Tom Jones. Oh, Tom yes. Jones. Tom Jones. Yes. The, the one singer. with Thomas in his name? Yeah. All right. I know the guy. Tom Jones wears his trousers out from the inside. <laughs> Tom Jones there. You've got it. If not a very even game, because we give it to Judy. And she's expecting a little baby, so I'll be nice. Tom Jones! You got it. Number three. Is that the boy on the Waltons? John John? Oh, John Boy? Oh, John John was a, the, the bathroom they named after him. I'll talk to you about it later. We'll, be back. well, here we are in America's heartland. 86 there, 79 there. Let's go. Dollar values are doubled. The first family, of course, to get the 300 points will play for $5,000. 100 people surveyed. Top five answers are on the board. Here's the question. Name an occupation which some consider to be unmasculine. A beautician. Yes. Pardon? Beautician. Beautician! Yeah. What are you going to do? We're going to play. We're gonna play. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> America's heartland. An occupation which some consider to be unmasculine. Interior decorator. Yeah! Yay. Yay. Good one. Although if we shifted these drapes... Uh... Interior decorator! Oh. I didn't look out. Uh. Trying to make contact with the living. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? An unmasculine occupation. Too much mm. of the tomboy in you, Steve. <laughs> Three seconds. Hey, yeah. come on, you almost said whistler. Come on, uh, two strikes, Audrey, my dear. Yes. Well, Richard, I will say ballet dancer. Ballet yeah. dancer, yeah. excellent. Yeah. Ballet dancer, there. You're all right. If not, third strike. Ballet dancer. I like. Ducky. What do you think, Norman? Yeah. Well, I would think an actor. Hi. <laughs> Hello, sir. How dare you? <laughs> Very good. I think that's a good answer. Yeah, yeah that's a. I'm not being yeah. personal. Oh, I think that's yeah. a good answer. Yeah. Right. Very good. Yeah, yeah we'll we all give him <laughs> encouragement. Is there you're okay, if not third strike, an actor? <laughs> oh, not there. Here's a chance for you to get $92. Nurse. Secretary. Nurse. 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 I just took it right for the nurse. The nurse is there. You get the $92. If not, we give it to the Bex family. Nurse. <laughs> Number three. Oh, you had that one as well, didn't you? Number five. Housekeeper. 171. 86. Let's go. Dollar values are doubled, 100 people surveyed. Top four answers are on the board. Here's the question. Name something that organizations do to raise money. They uh, campaign. They campaign. <laughs> Not there. How about a raffle? A raffle? <laughs> and a play or pass? We shall play. Play, though. 
Florida. Where are you wandering off? To? I don't know. I was ready to hustle. <laughs> Could you please repeat the question? What were you doing? <laughs> um, when we were up there, what were you doing? Tell me the truth, though. I'll repeat it. Tell me what you were doing. I was trying to think. What were you trying to think of if you don't want the question? <laughs> <laughs> Tell me the truth. Then what were you thinking about if you don't know what the question I was trying to get the top answer up there. Well, well what, what were trying you trying to get the top answer with if you don't know what the question is? <laughs> Good I don't know. Could I question. please have the question? Now? What were you thinking of? That's all I want to know. I asked you if you could tell me what that is. Well, Please. if you know what it is, well, how can you think of a top question if you don't know what it is? I mean, I don't mind someone who cons me, but when they flaunt it in front of my face. It's the same question, name something organizations do to raise money. Okay. Goes into a brown study every time I ask it. What are you going to say? How about a picnic? A picnic? Yeah. Excellent. Yeah. I wish you'd go on one, Steve. A picnic! Lord alive, I don't ask a lot from people, do I? I no, just ask them to you listen. No, don't. Yes, that's How true. How are you doing? I'm doing very well, thank you. Good. Well, of course you've got 17 yeah, grand. Yeah, that's, that's really good. Something that organizations do to raise money. Well, I can think of one in England, and they sell poppies for Remembrance Day. They do indeed, which is our Veterans Day. Oh. It's like Veterans Day here. They sell oh. That's good. So okay. Sell yes. Okay. Yes. Sell things? Stop there. Second strike. Now, Norman? I would say have a jumble sale. Do you have jumble sales in America? Where yeah, you get I all your. Know the, uh... You know, you get all your old stuff together and you right, sell it. Yeah, and people I don't know buy how to it. phrase yeah. that for you. It would be like a garage sale. All odds and ends yeah. and stuff like that. Yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. they, yeah jumble a garage sale, sale I think. Yeah. That sort of thing. Uh -huh. Yeah, so if that's there, like a garage sale's there, you're okay. If not, third strike. Garage sale? <laughs> not there? What do you say, Goldman? Look at the speed this group's moving with. <laughs> rummage sale. Bizarre. Bizarre, bizarre, bizarre rummage, rummage sale. sale. Bizarre. Need an answer? I'm going to go with bizarre. Bizarre. It certainly is today, isn't it? <laughs> if bizarre's there, you get $28. If not, we'll give it to Audrey and her family. Bizarre! <laughs> they have, don't they? They have dinners. They have dinners. They play bingo, don't they? I mean, they, it's not a tough question. Number one. Dinners, number three. Bingo, number four. Tell us on. 171, 114. Let's go. Well, thank goodness you're here. Now I know you're going to listen to me. <laughs> the dollar values are tripled. 100 people surveyed. The top three answers are on the board. Here's the question. Name something with red stripes. Yes, sir. The American flag. The American flag for Steve. Yeah. Going to play Steve a pass. We are going to play. We're going to play it, Steve. That's where he's best, when he's up there. Otherwise, he does not. Something with red stripes. Well, all I can think of, Richard, is um, a football team. OK. Ah, football yeah. team? <laughs> no, in England, that makes sense, but not here. <laughs> well, I think a candy bar. Candy bar. Yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah. Candy bar. Yeah. Candy candy. Very good. One more and you got it all. Okay, you took my answer. Something with red stripes. You got three seconds, John. With red stripes, a mint. A mint? That was candy with the red stripes on the candy. Well, that's candy, candy cane. Well, that's a candy cane. This is a mint. Part Round the mint. Thing. It's the same thing? Yeah. Quick thing. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Candy apple. Candy apple, of course. The red it's got white inside. The red striped candy apple. <laughs> very, very rare, Don. Oh, man. How about, red uh, how about pajamas? pajamas. Yeah, I'll yeah. Be PJs. Pajamas there, you're okay. Not third strike. PJs! Oh. Goldman's a chance for you. What do you say? Barber pole. Oh. Barber pole. Barber pole. Barber pole. Barber pole. I mean, I used to date her, Barbara Pohl. <laughs> Barbara Pohl there, 264. If not, you got it, Barbara Pohl. <laughs> got it. The moment he said candy cane, I thought that's bound to make you, make you think of a Barbara Pohl. That's what it looks like.
$114 plus $17,707. Oh, I love you more than that. One night's work. I was killing. Real pleasure. Take care. Who's gonna play? Let's go. Who's first? All right, off you go. Jim, run. Right. Going for the money right after we watch this. Well done. You did it. The top answer is on the board. See if you got it when we return. Okay, your brother-in-law is off stage, cannot hear us. Earphones on, let's get a nice big score for him, okay? Okay. 15 seconds, please. Name a common ailment that makes you feel like you just want to stay in bed. Backache. Something teenage girls worry about. Their makeup. Something people often lose. Keys. A flavor of lifesavers. Peppermint. A famous painter. Van Gogh. Turn around. Common ailment makes you feel like you just want to stay in bed, and you said a back it. Survey said zero. Something teenage girls worry about. You said makeup. Survey said zero. Something people often lose. You said keys. That's a good answer. Survey said twenty-three. Oh. Flavor and lifesavers. You said peppermint. So survey said. 1942, famous painter Van Gogh, or Gogh, survey said. 2466, right. here's the board, please. Go on back there. Now here's Ron, come on, Ron. I'm gonna ask the same questions that I asked Jim. You cannot duplicate his answer. If you do, you hear that, I say try again, give me another answer, okay? Okay. <laughs> please. please remind everyone the answer Jim gave us. Give me 20 seconds on the clock. You okay? I'm fine. Good. I think. I think the drugs are just starting to peak. You're not kidding. <laughs> Here we go. Name a common ailment that makes you feel like you just want to stay in bed. Flu. Something teenage girls worry about. Acne. Something people often lose. Their money. A flavor of lifesavers. Spearmint. Try, try again. Peppermint. Try again. Almonds. What? Quick. Flavor of lifesavers. Cherry. Famous painter. Uh, uh, Cezanne. Cezanne, right on the old yeah. buzzer. Yeah. Very good. This is the first time we've had an adult have his voice break during the answer here. That's a lot. Common ailment that makes you feel like you just want to stay in bed. You said a flu. <laughs> Survey said 19. 
Cold is the number one answer. You got 85. Something teenage girls worry about. You said acne. Survey said. 36, right. number one answer. Right. Something people often lose. You said money. Survey said. 18. <laughs> Keys is the number one answer. You got 139. Flavor of lifesavers. You said cherry. Number one answer. All Survey right. said. Watch it. Famous painter Van Gogh was number one. You said Suzanne, you need 19 points. Survey said. Yeah. Oh. Boy, oh boy. 181, five dollars for every point. Total of 905. Uh. Okay, we'll be back right after this. You don't get any painter, I think. <laughs> Survey said. You're not going to throw up, are you? Oh, of course not. <laughs> On Family Feud Classic. Watch now. <laughs> we'll see you the next time here on The Feud. Bye-bye. Some departing contestants receive be everything you